What's going on guys? It's Patrick from Purple Park Studios. I recently made a music video for one of my songs for my music project Wave Texture. So today I'm going to go ahead and break down this 3D set and some of the things I did to prepare for the music video. So at first I started off with just a little cube that I extruded up and kind of gave a slight bevel there in the center. From there I started adding some detail. I tried to keep this pretty low poly because I wanted the render time to be quick since music videos are long and I knew I had a lot of footage to render. So I just duplicated those structures and put them in the rear there. Next I used a plane and a particle system to create a quick terrain or something that looked like a rough terrain. It didn't need to be super detailed because I knew most of it was gonna be blurred out with the depth of field anyway. From there, I went ahead and added some basic textures. I wanted to keep it simple so the focal point could be on the singer and what I'm gonna show next, which is the fire VFX. So now one of the coolest things that I really liked about this video was this fire VFX that I created. Now I originally created this as fire, but since the video was called chemicals, I decided to change the color and I made it green. Now what's cool about this is I've actually made this available on Gumroad so you can get this VFX on Gumroad, it's just a plane with a crazy node setup plugged into it, but it's really awesome. You don't have to animate everything. It's already animated. It runs continuously every frame and it's just really cool and useful. I'm finding uses for it in lots of projects. And for the HDRI, I use Nebula Green with Stars right from the Blender Kit and here's the final result. But I just gotta let you know that So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit like and leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.